Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the video. Um, today we're just going to be covering how to day trade like a freaking pro, um, pretty much any stock, but it's for certain stocks. It's not for everything. So I'm just going to go over some and then I also would, I recommend some too. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, boys. So um, I like to day trade TQQ and SQQ. For two reasons. Um, they're just really, really nice to trade. Look, consistent upward pattern. And then all of a sudden, uh, once it gets below the 15 EMA, it got a good nice drop. Now, I'm going to cover the very basics of swing trading. It's basically where you trade off momentum. And when you trade off momentum, you can um, see what others are doing. And a way to recognize that is either the 15 EMA or the 15 SMA. I'm going to show you how to get those right now on TD Ameritrade Sink or Swim. You go up to Studies, and then you type in um, Moving Average, and then you'll get all these. And then you'll see Exponential. So that's the EMA, and then this is the SMA. And I'm going to explain the differences real quick. This might be a kind of long video. But then what, once you're here and you select add, uh, it'll come up on the price, the price chart. And you'll go in here and switch all of these to 15. And when I say 15 EMA or 15 SMA, you'll know. All right. So you can do whatever you want with this but I'm going to change the color to blue. No, let's go red. Change the color to red for the EMA, the exponential moving average. All right, so now we can clearly identify the 15 EMA and SMA. So that's how we, you know what? All these charts down here, they don't even matter. It doesn't matter. So that's pretty much the best way to day trade is off of momentum from other traders. Um, so this follows the market, except it's three times leverage. Write this down, SQQ, TQQ, um, and we'll cover more, but that's just for now. So you can see TQQ is shorting the market and SQ and TQQ is um, following the market and they're both leveraged. So, you can see here, the 15 EMA and the SMA, and the 15 SMA2, they have a consistent downward trend and they really don't go above this, the 15 SMA, all right? They don't go above it. And what you need to look for is a starting candle. And starting candles look like this. They're the first candle that's not touching the 15 SMA or EMA. It's the first candle that stands all alone because that basically indicates that it's going on a different trend. So just like this one, um, this one, this one would be counted as one, but when you're day trading, you have to take some losses and that's always, that's inevitable. So you got to get it in your mind that you maybe will take losses, but see, that's a starting candle. That's a starting candle. That's a starting candle. Um, that's a starting candle, but it didn't really do it. So basically, um, I'd say about 70 to 80% of the time when there's a starting candle, it's indicating a direction. Um, so that's for TQQ and SQQ. And pretty much day trading stocks is all the same. So then we're going to go to, um, this is one that is about to be delisted. But let's just go, you guys. Uh, so you can see really, really high volume. But you can see it doesn't really go below the 15 EMA or SMA when you're day trading. So as you can see, look, it goes up, goes down, gets under, buy degas, it goes, uh, and then all of a sudden starts pulling up. You don't buy back in until right there. Boom. At right here and then all of a sudden it keeps on climbing keeps on climbing keeps on climbing so yes it is a good day trade now you need to think about support and resistance lines but i'm not going to cover that until we cover 
um, other material. So what I mean by other material is you're going to want to go to tradeview.com and I'm going to have my indicators, the ones that I made, if I go to my script, tradebot1. I'm making that indicator and what you're going to want to do, this works for day trading, swing trading, anything, long term, everything, this works. Um, so you're going to want to put it on candles and then you're going to want to go on the one minute chart and then you're going to want to go on TQQ, SQQ, whatever. Now, the green and red line, it's basically a continuous ribbon, you know, continuous ribbon it's only following a few things look at once it once the line turns green look at what it does it confirmed that it's going up all right so now that it's look at so we're just going to cover since the beginning of the day right here confirmed got green pushed up about five percent before turning red uh buy there sell there that's about six that's about uh two percent uh Turned there, bought green, but then you, you lost money on that. So you just have to be prepared to lose money. And that's pretty much the biggest thing to all of this. Now, you can set all of these to each other, but um, you can see the moving average here is 20 and not um, 15. And that's only because, you know, it's whatever. All right. Um, and you might like Helsinki lines a bit better because they get you in a bit closer and it's a bit more tight. So at that, si at that same point, when you saw that green SMA, when this green indicator pushed up, you pushed up and then it told you to sell and you'd still be at a, um, a profit. And I like Helsinki lines better because they connect the dots and they fill in the blanks a little bit better. So you can see here, right when it turned red, you sold, waited till down here, boom, you got back in, rode it all the way up here, sold, bought, sold, and it was going to be a bot, but let's count all the trades of the day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so there's 11 trades in the day, and how many were failures? One, two, three, three, and maybe, maybe like, I'm not really sure if you'd count that as profit or loss, but right there. Um, so yeah, that's going to be in the description. It's going to be over the, it's going to be called the trade bot one. I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen right now, but it's going to be called TradeBot1, all right? So, and then what you want to find in a good day trade, is this still running? Good, it is still running. Um, what we're going to want to find is just something that stands out. It, it looks smooth. I like to do, um, what's it called? ETFs, ETNs, and a bunch of other stuff. And if they follow anything, like if uh, you guys and you guys, they follow natural gas and prices. Um, I mean, TQQ follows the market, but you know you can't really track that. But you can look on futures, and you can look on futures if you go here back to the um, and what's it called Thinkorswim, and then you type in forward slash NQ. NASDAQ mini and this is the futures for the NASDAQ and this will follow SQ I mean TQQ all right so with the EMA I mean um all right so I kind of like the SMA a little bit more uh just because I mean it's it's a little bit simpler and it'll get you in at a better price so if we look at NQ, it follows it really, really closely. Um, sorry, I have a second screen over here. But you can see here, look at right below, it crashes down, cuts the line, you get a starting indicator, boom. You sell at this. Okay, and then another indicator, if you're going to want one, is called the VWAP. It's volume-weighted index, 
or volume weighted pressure or something, but it's that's what it's that's what it's called V W A P, and you all you have to do to get that is type uh, V W A P into the line, and you hit add, and then that's all you have to do, and then you hit apply, and you'll get these three lines: this purple line, this um, yellow line, and this um, pink line. All right. So, if we all look at that, um, those are support and resistance lines. Those are volume weighted averages. So, you, you can see here, it pushes all the way up. I would have sold right there on this. Look at you would have got the best price right there. And that's only because that's the middle VWAP. Now, you can see here, it pushes up above and then comes down and uses it as support. So the VWAP is used for support and resistance pretty much only. Um, yeah, pretty much. And then the way that you can, the way that you use confirmation is a 15 SMA. So to get confirmation, it's gonna be 15 SMA. So you can see here, it goes down, 15 SMA. It breaks above, you get a starting candle, you buy there, you sell there. Let's see how much profit that you take off of that. Uh, drawing tool. How much profit would you take? Let's see, you got in an average price and you sold at the middle VWAP. That's 0.6%. Now, let's see if you bought in again. At the next turn, this would be your starting candle. Sell there, that's 0.12%. Bought again, uh, 0 0.45, 0 0.14. Let's just say you sold at the top view at 0.14. Sold there, point something. All right, so you get what I'm saying. Um, so then there's other ways to do it too. Uh, you can see that there's RSI resistance, but we're going to cover that in a different video. Um, I can hit the sub button. I'm not done yet, but uh, you can see that Support and resistance, they're the same line. It's a 50-50 shot of, there's a 50-50 shot of it's going to be a support or resistance. You can see right here it was a resistance, and then right here it was a support, and it had a massive upward trend there. And now here was a support, and now at the top of VWAP, it's a resistance, resistance, resistance. Now at the top of the VWAP, there's a harder resistance. That's just because literally anything, all right? Um, so, yeah, let's just, let's just move on to TQQ now. So I'm going to basically do my top favorite day trading and swing trading stocks. We got Microsoft, we got Tesla, we got JP Morgan, Apple, um, TQQ, Q, uh, Facebook, um, WB, TSM, AGEN, um, Lulu, um, Gush, Adobe, Drip, SQQ, TQQ, I know I keep saying that, um, TV, IX, USLV, SMH, those are just to name a few. Now, to practice these, TD Ameritrade comes with their own software. Uh, it's called On Demand. You literally just press this button, and all your indicators stay the same. This is your date. So, June 2020 on this date. Now, you can see that this was the date before, but it's going to be just like you're playing the market right now, except it's a few... It's a, it's a few um, weeks ago, all right? Nice. All right. So, oh, man. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, hope you found this video interesting. Uh, my next video is going to be how about my trade bot works. And I have a few more trade bots. I'm still trying to get those launched. But... Whatever I can do, I'm going to do it, and yeah, basically that's it. So, thanks for watching. 
See you next time. Like and subscribe for more content. Go watch other videos. My playlist on goes how to day trade and how to swing trade. And I highly recommend you watch the swing trading video just because it is very, very um, connected with day trading. Whoever says it isn't, it's essentially the same as day trading, but it's over a long period of, period of time. And you can make um, more profit under off of it if you're under the PDT rule, which means you only get three day trades if you're under 35, I mean, $25,000. So go check that one out. Uh, I think it'll be pretty useful. See you later.